This presentation covers max diff scaling, which is a better way to understand preference and importance. We're going to cover what max diff is, which business problems it solves, why it's better than rating scales, and then we'll see what it looks like, how to interpret scores, and when to consider conjoint versus max diff. We have a lot more content you can check out on our website. Max diff for maximum difference scaling is an approach for obtaining preference or importance scores for multiple items. It's also known as best worst scaling. Max Diff is really good at differentiating brand preferences, images, product and service features, messages, advertising claims, benefits, and pains. So why do we use Max Diff? Well, we've all seen rating scale questions like this, where there are a number of items and we're trying to gauge the importance of these items. When we get the results back and we see a mean of a 4.2 or 4.4, or even if we use top two boxes, we're not getting very good discrimination among the items on rating scale questions. Max Diff instead shows respondents a number of screens like this takes a list of items, puts them into an experimental design, and then pushes a few back to respondents at a time and asks them to choose which is most or least important to them, or most or least preferred. And research has shown that Max Diff shows really good discrimination among items and also between respondents on items. Now, there's no scale bias here either. It doesn't matter the language, culture, or education level. Everyone answers a question like this the same way. If there's any downside, it takes a little longer than a grid question, although an entire max diff exercise may only take two to three minutes. Very easy to interpret results. The, all the items get placed on a zero to 100 common scale and they sum to 100. When you see a 10, it has twice as much value as a five. This is ratio scaled data. So those values show you this is twice as important or this is twice as preferred than another item. You just can't say that with rating scale results. Now, when should you consider conjoint over max diff? Well, max diff deals with a single list of attributes, like brands, features, messages, whereas conjoint is dealing with attributes that have various levels or degrees to them. Very often includes price in a full product profile context. So think of max diff as I've got a list and I need to discriminate those items versus conjoint, I've got a more full product profile that I'm trying to optimize. Again, we've got a lot more content on our website. Please check it out. And if you have any questions, give us a call. Thanks.